Here are the five things you need to know to survive 2013. 2013 was the year of Kim Kardashian, divorced from Chris Humphreys, the reality show star was pregnant by Kanye West. In June, she gave birth to North. North freaking West. If the stress over the baby wasn't enough, her now fiance went on a media tear. Jimmy Kimmel, radio talk shows, military and police officers are upset at Kanye. Remember, this is Kanye wanting to be the most powerful couple in media. Here's hoping that they have a red wedding. But another couple may have that spot. Beyonce and Jay-Z, fresh from her Super Bowl halftime performance that may or may not cause the whole stadium a blackout due to her windmills. Beyonce announced her Mrs. Carter Show World Tour. Tickets flew faster than the Destiny Child reunion at the Superdome. And if you thought this new mommy to Blue Ivy dancing on tour, being married to Jay-Z, or not lip-syncing the presidential inauguration was enough, Queen Bee drops a whole album with 17 music videos on iTunes without any promotion on Friday the 13th. She basically reinvented what we call Black Friday. Luckily for her, album sales are better than her fourth album and have sold almost a million copies. And the Oscar goes to Jennifer Lawrence. What? Are you telling me the girl who was in MTV commercials for My Super Sweet 16 won an Oscar? Our Katniss Everdeen. Jennifer Lawrence received great reviews from her performance in Silver Linings Playbook. Her popularity started to catch on fire this year. The Hunger Games series launched her to a household name. The second installment, Catching Fire, broke records for November. It grossed over $350 million in a month. And speaking about growth, mayors made a big impact on 2013. Let's start west in San Diego in which Mayor Bob Thoner resigned and was sentenced for harassing women. Sources says he held one woman in a headlock, kissed another on the head, and grabbed the butt of a third. And if you don't think this sound bad, check this out. Nearly 20 women have publicly identified themselves as targets of Thoner's unwanted advances, including kissing, groping, and requests for dates. Creeper alert! Remember Anthony Weiner in the sex in debacle? Well, luckily for New York, he lost the mayoral bid. Apparently, he was confusing for running for an election instead of running for an erect. And finally, we end up north to Toronto's Rob Ford, our favorite crack smoking mayor since Marion Barry. This man, an enigma to many, but a hero to every comedian, provided so much entertainment at the tail end of this year. He truly came in like a wrecking ball. We can't mention 2013 without saying it was a year of Miley Cyrus. Releasing We Can't Stop, the former Disney princess shred her innocent teen girl look with a more edgier haircut and sexualized look. Miley created a movement in pop culture that got grown men wearing t-shirts that read, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Lyrics from her first single off of Bangers. However, her biggest moment was at the VMAs in which she twerked her tush off Literally. She gave a jiggle on Robin Thick to remember. Everyone talked about her. She reinvented herself and she was not stopping in pop culture. The twerk sparked faster than the Harlem Shake that slept early in the year. Her then fiance Liam Hensworth broke up with her and she was all alone. A week later, Miley released Wrecking Ball in which she was naked on a thousand pound wrecking ball looking sledgehammers. Is she crazy or just on Molly? The single proved to her haters that she can be emotional and can sing. Wrecking a Ball became her first single to reach number one and earn the title of highest watched video in a 24 hour period, according to Vivo. So, cheers to 2013, and we look forward to a new fabulous year.